pilots of the internet, I think it's time we had a little heart to heart. Um, I learned something today. Uh, it disappoints me a little bit. Um, <laughs> sorry, I can't even keep a straight face. But I learned that nine out of ten of you watching this video are not subscribed to Foldable Flight. And I'm just over here creating the best paper airplane content that I'm capable of making. And you guys are watching the videos. It's not like you're one-time visitors. You're watching video after video. And you're just like, eh, he's okay. Not worthy of clicking that big red subscribe button, even though it's free. So this is my appeal to all of you who are regularly watching this channel but not subscribing. Please just click the button. It is a great way to support the channel without spending a dime. Now with that out of the way, in this video I am teaching you how to make Space Chaser, which is an absolutely exceptional paper airplane, looks beautiful, and flies really well. So let's check it out. Now as you can see, Space Chaser locks in this three-dimensional shape, and you can see from the side, its keel doesn't extend all the way to the nose of the plane, which is really, really unique. I absolutely love this plane. And you can see it looks awesome using just a regular sheet of paper. But if you support me on Patreon, you can fold one using this template, which I have to say is probably my favorite template yet. So with that said, let's see the plane in flight, and then I'll teach you how to fold it. All you will need in order to fold this plane is an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper and we will begin by folding this right edge to the left edge. As always, accuracy is very important on this step and in all the subsequent steps as well, so really take your time and try to line things up. Once you have the paper like this, here is my folded edge, and I want to fold the top edge to land on that folded edge. Now I'll flip the paper over and do the same thing on the other side. Now folding to my left edge. And I will open the paper all the way back up into this orientation. Now I'm going to rotate the paper and fold this top edge here to my right edge. So my crease should go right through that corner there. And I'm not going to crease the full length of the paper here. I'm looking to find this crease here, and I'm just going to crease from that point to the corner point. And I'll release. And now I'm going to rotate the paper here and fold this edge here to this edge so that my crease is going to go up into that corner there and I'm only going to extend it to that point there. So you can see I'm locating the crease here and that is where I know to stop the crease that I'm making here. So I want just to crease to that point into the corner. Okay, and now I will go ahead and flip the paper over, fold in on these creases like so. Flip the paper back over. And I want to fold now this edge here so that it's going to land on this point and my crease is going to originate at this point here. And so as I do that, again, I'm not creasing the full length of this. So you can see I'm lining this edge up on that point looking for this point right here. And when I crease, I only want to crease up to this line here created by an existing crease we have. So when I open it up, you'll see my crease only goes to this line. And now I'm going to fold this edge here to land on the center crease, and I'm only going to crease to this point once again. So. As I do that, you'll see my edge is landing on that full center crease, but I'm just creasing while I have that lined up from this point right here 
straight to the point of the plane. And I'll release that. And now I'm going to repeat those steps on the other side. So I'm going to fold this edge so it lands on this point and the crease will start at that corner. And I just crease to this point here. And now I will do the same thing, folding this edge to the center crease and just crease to that same point. Okay, and now we're going to be collapsing our paper. Basically, I want this here to become a valley crease on this section right here. And these sections will be mountain creases so that now I can begin to pull my paper, sorry, this part of the vertical crease will be a mountain crease. And I can pull the whole thing in like so and slowly work this vertically. And you'll see the paper will start to collapse into this shape and you can close it all up like that. So you can see the direction of all the creases there and you can close it all the way up into this orientation. So I'll set the paper down like this and now I'm going to create a crease that goes from this point here to half an inch from this corner. And if you're using my template, the line will be marked out for you. You can measure. This is not crucial. This does not have to be exactly this point, but if you want your template to line up, be sure to use the line on the template. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm opening this side up and you can see I've kind of got this edge running into this front point and I'm swiveling out this intersection to make this edge go to where, where it's half an inch above that. And I'm just estimating here. And once I do that, I can flatten this so that this edge here lands back on that edge right there and a new crease is formed down here. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on the other side, this time folding it to match my first side. So I open that up, make sure my crease is going all the way into that pocket. And I land this back corner on the other back corner and make my crease. And now I can flatten it so that this edge lands on that edge. Okay, and now I'll fold this wing up, making sure to control my layers right here and I'm going to make a new crease right along that edge. And I'll flip it over and do the other side. And now you can see we can hold the plane in this orientation. And basically I want to perform a squash fold on this section, which is a little bit tricky, but basically I'm putting my thumb into this pocket and using my forefinger to make sure it's opening all the way down to this point right here. And as I begin to flatten the pocket, I want to make sure that I maintain my symmetry. So once I have the rough shape of the squash fold, I'm flipping it over, making sure that I pinch these two layers completely together, and I'm landing that point on my center point. And to continue collapsing it, I may have to use my fingers here to work those layers outward. And once I have that, once I'm content with my placement here, I can actually crease those layers behind by pressing on this top layer. And you can see I've creased these layers as I did that. Okay, so your plane should look like this. And now I'm going to open this up and this up, and you can see the layers kind of go behind like so. And I want to now land this edge here on my center crease. So I'm just kind of setting the plane down. I don't want to make any creases back here. I'm just positioning it so that I can work on this section. And I'm landing this edge here on the center crease. And I'm not creasing all the way. Once again, there's a lot of partial creasing in this model. I'm creasing instead right to this point here 
where this line is going to intersect with that existing line. And then you can see mine kind of caught as I was doing that and I'm creating a crease from this point here to that corner right there just by kind of using its natural break and I can swing this forward and make that crease or just use my thumb as I'm noticing that I wasn't very accurate there. So you can see this is the crease pattern that you should get from those steps. Now I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Folding this edge to the center. Creasing only until I hit this crease. And then from that crease to this point right here. So again, you can see the crease pattern. And I'm going to close that up. I can now close this like that. You can see I'm closing these. And now my plane should look like this. And I'll go ahead and flatten everything out nicely. Okay, and that means I can now fold my plane in half like that. And I'm going to now open this section. You can see I have a crease on this part of the nose of my plane. I'm just going to open along that crease like a hinge. And it should look essentially like this. And then I'll flip it over, do the same thing on this side, trying to fold this side so that it lands on the other side and matches it. And your plane should look like this. Now I'm going to actually swivel that forward a little bit and you can see this intersection between the crease I just made and this crease here. And basically I want to pull the plane open at that point and I'm just kind of swinging this wing down and you can see we have this crease here and basically I want to land that crease on this crease as I pull this down like so. I'm using this crease as my reference landing it on that crease and I can crease like that and now as I close this I'm pushing this little section to the left and collapsing it like so. And now I will flip the plane over and do the same thing here. Swing that open. This is the point where my crease should originate from. I'm pulling like so, making sure my crease goes all the way to that point. And I'm landing this crease on that crease. And I want to make sure also that I'm landing this corner here on this corner. Assuming I've maintained symmetry up to this point, that's going to keep my symmetry. And then I'll push this to the right as I close that up. Okay, now I'm actually going to just unfold the step I just did. And I want to fold this edge here to land on this edge. And you'll notice I won't be able to crease again along the full length of this. As I do that, I can crease all the way down to this corner. But I'm going to have trouble creasing it all the way up here. And so I'm not even going to worry about that. But you can see I've created that crease. I'll open that back up close it back into the orientation I just had it in previously. And now I'm going to use this crease to fold this edge over and I'm going to have to now kind of work on this front section to double it over behind itself. And now I'll flip the plane over, repeat those steps on this side, folding this edge to that edge there. And again, I can't crease all the way to the front, so I'm just going to leave it as is. And now, when I position my plane back like this, I can use this crease to help guide me as I push on that section right there and help double that section over behind. 
and our plane should look like this. We are almost done at this point. Now I'm going to fold this triangular section back within the profile of the rest of the plane. And basically to do that, I'm going to start my crease at this corner and you'll see there's a layer behind it. And this layer is my reference point, that corner right there on that layer. Basically I'm folding this just until I reveal that corner and I'm trying to land the edge of this crease on that corner. And then I will fold this section that went past the edge back over the edge. And now I just have to reverse this crease here and tuck those layers behind. So it should look like that. I'll flip the paper over and repeat those steps. So I'm folding from this corner until I reveal that layer right there. Folding the section that went past the edge back across that edge. And now reversing this crease to tuck all the layers in behind. Okay, and now I want to fold winglets that will go at the edges of the wing, and I want those to run parallel to this existing crease that I have here. So basically, I'm starting them right about here uh, at the transition here from this angle to this angle, that corner. And I want this crease again to be parallel to that crease. And you can actually fold them a little wider if you want but you really don't want these to be too small because if you fold these such that they're too small, you're gonna have stability problems with this plane. So something around this size is great and I'll flip it over and fold this one to match. And notice again, this crease is at least approximately parallel to that crease. Now you'll see the plane doesn't wanna open up right now, so we're going to have to fold right along this existing crease through these thick layers. And I'm going to kind of just wrestle the paper a little bit like that, flip it over to the other side, wrestle the paper a little bit. And now I can kind of press it flat to the table, bend it in either direction, and then make sure here that this isn't curving in one direction. Sometimes if you get unequal tension, that can be a problem. Smooth out these layers if you need. And there you go, your plane is finished. And look at how beautiful that is. Now, as I said, stability can be a slight issue with this plane. Uh, so you may find that it's rolling to the left or the right. And of course you can counter that with aileron adjustments. If you aren't familiar, I'll leave a card in the top right corner teaching you how to adjust your planes. And with that, good luck flying your plane.